what's up guys Cloudy here checking in with the developers note of July that Vespa just issued earlier this morning so let's see what they have in store for us I quite like this communication type that they are doing um, it's, it's good to hear their thoughts on, on what they are good at what they are bad at and what they are trying to work on so let's see um, kind of starts with the usual somewhat apologetic tone they are talking about the repositorium content and how they are gonna try to make a uh, better game so that's kind of the usual stuff um, then we move on to the um, guild conquest Velkazar, which was updated through the apk version of the game so not for mobile players only for the uh, emulators they feel quite comfortable about this one now and they will be rolling out this version of the game to mobile players as well so uh, Velkazar should work better on mobiles as well after the first updates of July. Not quite mentioned if it's the first or like first updates. We'll see. Um, they also add here that they are planning to make adjustments to the party clear challenge rate so we should have less latency issues there. I didn't quite recall having like problems there but yeah maybe some do so yeah that should improve as well. Moving on is the eclipse stabilization that they are working on. So right now if you crash or force close the application, which some people do, um, then you can restart your run from the first wave of that given team. They want to actually change this that you go back to your last finished wave. So um, they have some some issues with, with implementing this, but they are still working on it. Um, we can expect some, um, some news about this later on. They are now a bit stuck, they say. Okay. Uh, regarding other stabilization issues, well, some like the PvP contents and um, uh, other stuff, they are saying that um, they are working on these kind of things but are not really getting there yet. They just wanted to assure everyone that these are still um, uh, being worked on and they are trying to also think of other ways that they can improve this during Season 2 of the game. And then some hot souls, um, they would like to provide some updates regarding the PC version. Um, they're saying now that this actually runs, so there is a running version on, on, on PC, but they aren't really um, sharing any details here. Like they are still considering how to provide the game, link accounts and other stuff that they, they need to make the game work. An interesting side info that um, on another channel, short name LTT, I was looking at the Windows 11 review and there was a short mention of Windows 11 might be able to run Android apps natively. There wasn't too much detail so I'm not quite sure how that would work out but who knows we might not even need uh, a separate uh, Windows client in the future provided we are running Windows 11. Uh, but can't quite comment that yet because we don't really know that much about Windows 11 either. Um, so they do show a, a short sneak peek of the uh, Windows version here. The fun part is you can see that there is a dev server indeed. Now we just need to wonder if there is a test server one too. It doesn't show too much, it's just uh, they are running around in the starter area a bit, so showing that the game works. Although I really like the second part because it has some, let me just uh, sign mute this, because some of the battles look really close. Like look at the effect. They did say that these are not working yet, but maybe this should be an option for the game that we should have like these <laughs> these options i quite like them actually this would be quite a trip watching king's raid like this maybe it should be like an april's full option or maybe not but all right so um, not too much uh, here really it's just them showing that the pc client is already working to some extent but they are still still working on this so yeah Next up is that based on their survey in April, they have uh, been uh, thinking how to distribute costumes in the future, whether it should be based on how many people own certain characters or how many costumes there are. And in light of that, they have uh, shared some statistics from the game and it's quite interesting. So they are showing how many people own each character. And you can see that Castle is owned by 15 million accounts. So probably, considering the the large the, um, difference between Castle and Frey, it seems that a lot of lot of bots are there, or people who never even got past the first cutscenes where you where you obtain Frey. 
And then there is Cleo and Roy, who of course you get fairly early on. And then second position is Mirian, who at the launch of the Japanese server was added as a free hero, and then later on removed. So probably a lot of accounts own her just because she was added at the very start. And then Close, whom you also get for free. And then there are a lot of the older heroes, Celine, that you also get for free at the start along with Lorraine, Jane, one of the most popular, and a lot of older heroes. Now, where the numbers get interesting is, is here, Fallen Fae and Dark Lord Castle. So these two you should be getting for free in Chapter 9. And yeah, you can see the difference between uh, those two. So these are the players or accounts who even get to Chapter 9. Um, hmm, so that's like quite a small number. Or I expected there to be more players, to be honest. And even more sad, to me at least, is when you go here and see Rebel Clouds. So Rebel Clouds you get at the end of chapter 10, and this number shows how many people even got that far. Um, that's not a big number, sadly. So. You can expect that the maximum number of active accounts, or those that at least cleared uh, chapter 10 is this. Uh, yeah, I, I really thought, thought that there would be more, so hmm, I'm a little bit sad about seeing these kind of numbers. But yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting for statistics, really, that the most characters owned are of course the old ones that were in the game for years now. And of course the newer ones or less popular ones would be owned by less. <laughs> Poor Dakaris, nobody likes him. Although Talisha being an NPC, she's like the least popular NPC, which to some extent is, is um, understandable. Maybe her new upcoming balance patch will change that, but yeah, so numbers. And then there is the number of costumes in the game for each character. Of course the older characters, the ones that have been in the game forever, would have the largest numbers. And then it gradually keeps going down. Um, not, some, not too many super big surprises here. Um, except for maybe the end of the list, where you can see like Kala, yeah poor Kala. Only has three. Xera, who should be a more popular character, but somehow only has three. And one of those is a pay only. She's the only character with a, a money only costume, which I'm super sad about because I quite like it and I wanted that. In case you are watching at Vespa, hint, hint. Um, Dosarta, yeah, and PCs do not have too many, which kind of makes sense considering the amount, uh, amount of work it takes to make a costume and then how many people have NPCs. Yeah, and then the newer characters, of course. Um, Tailey seems not to be the most popular character. And then at the final part, there are some, like, the car is poor, the car is only has one. Reheat and Repin, who have been in the game for quite some time and never received a, a costume in, in under than their step up costume. Uh, so they badly would need to be included in at least one batch to fix this. And then Shark May, who only, also only has his step up costume. So I hope he receives a new one at some point as well. So these are. Oh, yeah, and they do not count the, the three, four, five star costumes for characters. Um, yeah. And that's all they really share, other than adding that, well, we are halfway through 2021 and they are looking forward to keep providing the game and, and growing with us together. That's pretty much it. Now the comment section is, is even more toxic than ever. I quite enjoy the part where someone claimed that uh, Vespa is even pr um, promoting class warfare now and that's how they update their characters and such. It was. I'm not quite sure if I was entertained or, or saddened by that kind of comment or if I just thought that it's enough internet for today. Well, all right, um, that aside, um, I quite like some numbers. The others are some really, really sad here. Um, and yeah, we can look forward to more improvements to the game. I think their main focus now is on um, rolling out season two, so getting in, into that part of the work. Um, I think from next month on we can expect hearing about that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts guys in the comments below. This has been Cloudy for now and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.